Okie dokie, I'm back in the Cornudas after having been out here for a minute. Uh, today's objective is Wind Mountain, which is the Cornudas highest feature, uh, which is actually what's right behind me. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time on this intro, I just kind of want to get into it. So, yeah, let's see what's up there. There it is. All of this. This is cool.
All right. Man, ooh, I found the bench work. Whew. Hell yeah. All right, we can't stay up here too long. I'm gonna take my shots. We're gonna go. Whew. staying up here we're we're turning around we're going down i got my shots uh super excited to get this done i didn't think we we're gonna make it today honestly and uh, it's still questionable whether or not we're gonna make it down so focus time time to go down All right, officially on the road at the base of the mountain. That kind of zigzags up it. So we still got some altitude to lose, but at least we're on flat terrain now, sort of. All righty, I'm back down from Wind Mountain, home, eight months later. Yeah, that's when I'm recording this. And you like how I like get dressed and do the same garb that I was wearing the day of. Because, anyways, so yeah, no, Wind Mountain. I had a lot of fun on it. The only downside for me was I was rushing the entire way up, and I rushed my time at the summit for obvious reasons. Um, that can be avoided if you manage your time better before you go. And then, uh, what else? 
I would give six hours from the starting point. That way you can take your sweet time going up. You can enjoy the scenery for a good chunk of time. Come down safely, taking your time doing so, and then drive into the sunset on your way back to civilization. They give you plenty of time. Um, but that's just me. I'm not saying, hey, you should come out here and do it. Because if you do, you're responsible for your own actions and you're responsible for your own safety. Uh, there's no signal for me out here or out there for me. So I will assume the same for most people. Um, I got stopped by Border Patrol driving back because they saw my light sources while descending the mountain. Look, Highway 62 is a good 15 plus miles away from Wind Mountain. If they could see me from all the way out there, that's pretty cool. But hey, you know, if you do if you do decide to do this and it's after hours and stuff like that, well, first off, I would never recommend that. But if you do decide to do that and it turns out that you're climbing down in the dark or doing whatever, driving back in the dark, like, don't be sus, you know. And please treat the land with respect, you guys. Like, uh, it, it's not just wilderness area out there. There is There are some private property. Um, there is, oh, my grammar. There is some private property out there. Um, and it, is, it does share the border very close to Texas. And there's other properties out there, too. So please be cognizant of that. Um, and there's some, uh, sensitive ecological areas that I'm aware of also. So, you know, just take the time to familiarize yourself with the land, respect it when you're out there, you're a guest. Um, but other than that, you guys, like I had a black, I was in such a celebratory mood when I finished this mountain. So, uh, I am beyond excited to present it to you guys. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I know it's on the long end and the soundtrack's probably extra dramatic or whatever, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Terrifying. <laughs> Hold on, I can't do this. <laughs> oh, my fat ass got stuck in the rock here. <laughs> I can't move. Oh, damn. All right, I'm out. Wait. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. All right, I'm out. I'm out for real. Oh, yeah, that was good. All right, you guys, it's like eight months later and I'm finally recording the closeout for this video. I'm in California too. Ah! Anyways, <laughs> fudge.